Okay, I'm going to demonstrate another quiz, online quiz, and give you some strategies of how to accomplish it. So you can see my pointer down there. Do you know what I just discovered? That's amazing. That laser pointers don't really point on that screen very well. So I'm going to use my cursor on my mouse. I'm down where it says blood fluids 2. I'm going to start the quiz. And then I'm going to take you through this. <coughs> Excuse me. Making some comments about maybe strategy. So obviously you read the question. When making a blood smear on a 1x3 glass slide, that's your typical microscope slide, what device is used to spread the drop of blood on the original slide? So you've got a drop of blood on a slide. What would you use to spread out the blood in a very thin layer? Ends up being from the reading or lecture or something it was indicated that we would use another slide. Here's the second question. And you can keep track of questions up here because sometimes they might skip ahead, sometimes not, but anyway. To harvest plasma from a feline blood sample. Okay, plasma versus serum. Gotta know the difference between those two. Feline is a cat. What should be added to the sample? ends up being you should have this chemical in the tube as the blood is flowing into the tube. So it's, my question should be actually reworded a little bit because it's actually better to have the what we're looking for is an anticoagulant in the tube before the blood gets there. The only answer here saline and you should know why answers are wrong. Saline that's just 0.9% sodium chloride. Here's sodium chloride, urea, that's a breakdown product of protein metabolism. Potassium chloride, EDTA is what we want, surfactant. So here it is. We want EDTA. We're going to do the next one. Okay, so now this one is interesting because we had to have a hedgehog come to class, but not everybody will get this one right. In fact, I'm going to hedge a little bit. I think they're insectivores, but this question was made probably about a year ago. And that reminds me, I'm going to purposely get one wrong, at least one, so when we review it, we can see how it shows you you got it wrong, but it also shows the right answer. The blank is a membrane that surrounds and protects the equine heart. Well, that would be the pericardium, peri, peri P-E-R-I is a prefix meaning around, and the other things are don't make sense at least for a membrane surrounding heart. A lot of them have some meaning, but not around the heart. Type of muscle found in the walls of arteries. Okay, tubes have muscles in them, usually arteries, intestines, and those muscles... Of the three types of muscles, you should know there's what? Cardiac, smooth, and skeletal. In the tubes of anything, it's going to be smooth. Okay, some of these other answers are totally wrong. And some, you know, cardiac, there is cardiac muscle. There is skeletal muscle, but it's smooth. <clears throat> okay. A 900-pound horse has blank pounds of total blood in its body. We always use a convention of 7% of a body weight of an animal is blood weight. In class, in some reading, you'll see that that's a grand average that I've chosen. Some might say, oh, you should do 6.5 or you should do 7.5. It all depends on the animal. But if I know for every 100 pounds of horse I get 7, then I would just take the 9 times 7 and say... Hey, isn't that 63? And the answer is very distinct. Notice there's not another answer close to 63. Maybe 70 would be as close, but when you do, if you know the convention, 
7% of the body weight is blood weight, you get 63. Inspiratory muscle in the cat, the main one, is the blank, which is made of certain types of muscle. Well, it ends up being, I know the diaphragm is the main inspiratory muscle in the cat and most other mammals, at least in a broad sense. And the diaphragm is always made from skeletal. So let's see if I can find that answer. So if I know it's del diaphragm, I don't even know what kind of, don't even need to know what kind of muscle it is because that's the only choice there is. The canine cephalic vein is located. So now we're going to do some anatomy here. Dog cephalic vein. Cephalic means head, and this is, you got to get used to this, how things are named. But this is a vein, ends up being in the front leg that carries blood back towards the head. And hence, it's in the four legs, but it's called cephalic vein. Let's see. I'm looking through these. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting a cold here or have a cold. Medial plane of the upper skull. No. On the rear leg. No. Junction of the first two lumbar vertebra. Nope. On the front leg. I'm going to click that right now. Rib tail. No. Notice you can change your answer before you submit it, but it's obviously going to be on the front leg. Septum is a term that means. Okay, so we're always looking for terms and suffixes and prefixes, and septum, that's singular, septa, S-E-P-T-A, is plural. That always means some kind of wall or divider. So, I look through here, clotted, no, yellow, no, wall, I'm going to click that, that's probably my best one, three parts, ventral, blocked. Wall, it's a wall. Okay, okay, no, I didn't rehearse this. <laughs> I don't remember how long fer ferrets can live. Obviously, this is about a year ago, and somebody brought a ferret to class. Oh, man, I'm going to guess 7 to 10, but, you know, I'm going to have to say I can't remember. Let's go on. We'll see what it's graded as. At this moment, the free space in this room, or the room you're in, contains blank percent oxygen. So basically we're saying how much oxygen percent is in air, in room air. Normal room air, and it would be very similar out in the wild, outside. Well, you may not have had this yet, but it's always about 21%. So never 100. You know, it seems weird. Why wouldn't it be 100% air, or 100% night oxygen, sorry. It's about 21%. Blank, a gas, binds to hemoglobin and can cause death. You read about this in the newspaper all the time. There's a lot of gases that can kill animals and people, but this one says binds to hemoglobin. That's special because not many bind to hemoglobin. Some just fill the space and you die or an animal dies of asphyxiation because there's no oxygen. This one ends up binding to hemoglobin and prevents oxygen. And let's see, it's not methane, it's not sarin, it's not carbon dioxide, it's carbon monoxide. That's capital C, capital O, by the way. When a dog is dehydrated, short of water in its body, the hematocrit is blank than normal. Well, it ends up being if you're losing water or have less water, when you take a blood sample, it's thicker than it should be. The hematocrit is elevated. That's going to take some thinking on your part, but there it is. The hematocrit is higher than normal. By convention, we usually say hematocrits, which is also called pack cell volumes. We say that's 45%. So a dehydrated animal would have a higher than normal pack cell volume. Platelets, another name, okay? So all the formed elements in the blood have at least two names. Platelets are little fragments of a big mother cell. 
but they're also called thrombocytes. They're not called leukocytes, that's white blood cells. This, I'm not sure what that is, it might be a nonsensical answer that I thought up. Urethrocytes are the red blood cells, and then all these other monocytes, that's a type of white blood cell, but some of these answers I made up, thrombocytes is the right answer. The mineral in the hemoglobin molecule, okay, hemoglobin is in red blood cells, and it always has iron within it. So for some reason, if an individual or an animal or a person is not getting enough iron in their diet, they may not make enough hemoglobin, they may be anemic. When this feline heart chamber contracts, it forces blood directly into the pulmonary artery. Okay, so in my mental mind here, pulmonary artery carries blood away from the heart to the lungs. So that's going to be the right ventricle. There it is down here. You kind of got to know your heart anatomy. Finally, the last question. If you have 200 mils of heparinized feline blood, heparin is a anticoagulant, which we, you should know that. How much plasma would you harvest after centrifugation? Well, if we said packed cell volume by convention is 45%, then 55% of every 100 mils is plasma. So you got 55 plus 55, that'd be 110. And notice how I was sneaky, 110 cc's. You should know, remember, cc's is equal to mils. Notice down here, my next button has been deactivated because we're all done. I'm going to go over here and submit it. Submit the quiz. Are you sure you want to? Yes. <clears throat> okay, well, I got 100% and I'm a little sad at that because I was trying to do one that was wrong so I could show you what it shows you but let's review the quiz then do you notice I got the ferret question right hmm here we go one by yeah three slide EDTA insectivores hedgehogs hedgehogs are insectivores pericardium smooth 63 diaphragm cephalic is on the front leg septum is a wall Ferrets live to 7 to 10, so my memory's good. Kind of remember, we had a ferret named Diesel come to class. Beautiful animal. It actually fell asleep in the lap of the student that brought it. And I was figuring 7 to 10. Okay. Uh, free space, 21% oxygen, carbon monoxide, higher thrombocytes. Iron is in hemoglobin. So you can go through and review them. And if you get it wrong, it'll show you the right answer. Although, I wish I would have got one wrong so I could have showed you that. So, that's it. Thank you for listening.